Hi, thank you for stopping by. If you're here for knitting, I am so sorry. <laughs> this isn't a knitting video, but if you click in the description box, you will see that there is a link to today's knitting upload. So go ahead and check the description box. If you're here for Trixie Mattel's lip gloss swatches, then just keep watching. All right, so if you're here for the lip gloss swatches, below in the description box, you are going to see some timestamps for each gloss, as well as the swatches on my arm, if you are so interested in jumping ahead to different things that suit to your interest. So let's get started. I just received the box of Trixie Mattel's Insider Collection and I got just the glosses, so if you're looking for something else, this isn't the place. But they came in this cute little box, very nice, I really like it. And I also got like this promo card, it's a little bent because uh, the box itself just came in a plastic mailer, it wasn't in its own box when it came to me. So we have this plastic mailer too that does describe all of the glosses as well as the two lipsticks that are included in the Insider Collection. So when we open this, make sure they don't fall out, uh, they all came in some tissue paper and the box, if you're curious of what it looks like when it's presented to you. All the shades are in here like so. If you're a person who's into packaging, which I'm pretty much going to throw out the unicarton, but at least the unicarton does describe what each shade is. So let's go ahead and start with Melodrama. The inside looks like it has a bunch of little hearts inside. Very cute. All right, so here we have Melodrama, beautiful pink, very nice and sparkly, and of course you have Trixie Mattel's logo on the top, and the bottom has the name. So I'm gonna go ahead and unscrew this one. As she described it, it has a nice well inside to hold the product. It has a light scent. It's like soft candy. It's not very strong at all, but I can pick it up. So let's go ahead. I'm gonna look into my monitor so I don't mess up. I'm gonna dip in again just to get the top lip. Get that Cupid's bow. All right, not terribly sticky but nice gloss. So here we see melodrama on my lips. It's very light. I don't, I'm like rubbing my lips together to see if I can feel any grit from the shimmer. And I, I don't feel it at all. And as you can see, my lips aren't like stuck together a great deal when I do part them to, to, to talk. So not too bad at all. And I really do like that even though it is fragranced, it's not an overwhelming scent. Kind of like vanilla, I guess, like a very light vanilla scent. All right, so now that I have removed Melodrama from my lips, we're gonna go ahead and go into Cream Puff. This one is, if I'm sure you watched Trixie talk about these, it's a very light, kind of pinky color. Um, here's what it looks like. And this is all, um, I have one softbox kind of counterbalancing the natural light coming out of the window. So this is giving you pretty accurate read. I'm looking in the monitor right now and it looks just about exactly like it does in person. And of course, I'm a little old school, my camera does not focus for me like that. We have our well to collect the product. It's giving me that same very faint, very, very faint like vanilla-y flavor. And I'm gonna look in the monitor as my guide. Whoa, this is a lot brighter than I thought it would be. <laughs> Hee 
I'm not gonna dip in a second time, but I am turning it over and kind of getting my Cupid's bow area. Hmm. It feels, um, it definitely feels thicker on the lips to me than Melodrama did. Um, it's not sticky though, like, well, I mean, it's not a lip oil, it's a gloss for sure, but when I put my lips together, I still don't, I don't have that resistance like a, a really thick gloss usually does, so it doesn't feel gummy on my lips. It does feel heavier though, but it's not super sticky like some other glosses. As we all know as being gloss people, you probably have experienced that somewhere else, but not terrible, but thicker than Melodrama. Mm. I'm just rubbing it around to get a mo more of a feel for it, but you can see it's super bright on me because I am a darker complected lady, but I would say I would, if I was a liner person, I probably would wear a liner with this. It's definitely way pinker than I thought it would be. <laughs> I, I, for some reason I thought it would be a little bit more sheer. Uh, so I might not even do like a full dunk. I might just do one side and maybe not even that. Just like kind of tap it on my lips to kind of mute it out a little bit. Or I could always go in with a liner of another color to kind of counterbalance the punchiness of this gloss. So let me try the next one. Okay, it's the last gloss of the collection and it's the most intriguing to me and that is Snow Cone. I love a vibrant red, I love a berry, and so when I saw Trixie pull out Snow Cone, I just knew that one had to be part of my collection. So let's go and give her a try. So as the others, we had this beautiful, beautiful corally pinky color. And I honestly am excited. I'm hoping that Trixie, because this is like the insider sneak peek, I'm hoping that she releases more colors kind of like this. This is a little bit more me, um, but we'll see because we saw Cream Puff and that was really popping on my lips. So we'll take a look at what Snow Cone has to say. All right, once more, we are zoomed in a little bit so you guys get the full effect. I'm gonna go ahead and use the, my trusty monitor again. Once again, we have our well to hold the product and we'll see how this looks. Oh my gosh. Woo! This is, wow. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Still feeling that, um, kind of getting it. Okay, cute. I like, um, kind of like, eyeballing myself. Mm -hmm. What's that? Oh. Not quite even. Uh, that's very pigmented though. Um, hmm. Well, folks, I will say this and Melodrama are my two faves. Of course, this was the color that really intrigued me about the collection and I'm a gloss I'm a lip person in general but when it comes to Trixie shades I didn't even think about Bobble or Stacy or Stacy's mom but when I saw that she had some glosses that looked a little bit more friendly to my skin tone and my comfort level with what colors I wear I thought snow cone was the one and I really like it this pink doesn't look bad on me for me 
Um, it's just muted enough that I feel like I can wear it at work, um, even though I'm working from home now, but for the most part, it's like a good everyday for me and my tastes. I like it. It's still giving me that cream puff thickness. It feels a lot heavier than than melodrama, but again, it's like sticky like gloss, but not goopy sticky, gummy, like a heavy, heavy gloss. So I feel like I can talk. I don't feel too super um, restricted in my lip movements when I'm wearing it, and it's not like uncomfortable. Like I know it's there, but it's not annoying me. So I think it's a win. Uh, let me know in the comments if you care to share your experience with Trixie's line. Do you have it waiting for you in the mail? Are you on the fence? Are you thinking of waiting and seeing what other items she adds to her collection? I'm excited to see what else um, she's going to release in this collection, so I'm looking forward to it. If this is a sneak peek, I say it's a win. I'm not too picky about my glasses personally, but I do notice a difference in comfort level and wear when I do wear them. Um, this is just a first impressions, not a wear test, but if you'd like to find out how I feel about it later, do leave me a comment and I'm more than happy to reply back with an update on how I feel about a wear test as far as having it on for long periods of time, how it wears down. Just kidding. All right, as I just mentioned earlier today that there wasn't going to be a wear test, I actually haven't changed this lip gloss or have reapplied it since filming earlier with you today. So I started filming this afternoon around like 2.30 or so and I went about my work day, just got finished eating dinner, and um, ate with my um, snow cone lip gloss on and haven't touched it up, haven't reapplied it or anything like that. So you could see that it's still on my lips pretty, relatively well. Um, since having it on from earlier seeing it, I can feel it, it kind of wore down, well not like not wore down like wore off, but kind of absorbed more into my skin and kind of settled where it got to the point where like it's not nearly as thick feeling as it was when I first applied it. And that's even beyond just having dinner and, and wearing it down through consumption of food, but just sitting on my lips later on in the day, I could feel the the consistency kind of thin out a little bit. So I still think it's a very comfortable gloss. Uh, I haven't obviously tried wearing um, cream puff or wearing melodrama through the whole day, but I will say because cream puff has a similar if not the exact formulation as snow cone that they probably wear down just the same. Um, and I think melodrama, because it's thinner feeling, um, because it's not as opaque, obviously with that pigmentation added to it, makes the other two very thick. I think melodrama would probably need to be reapplied for sure after eating, but so far I think uh, snow cone is probably my uh, go-to uh, gloss for the summer now if I'm looking for a pop of hot coral. So that's that. I just wanted to check in and say that I kind of lied earlier because I realized I didn't need to reapply or anything later and thought why not just jump back in before I film that knitting video I mentioned and, and show you guys what it looks like. Here is a close-up too um, of my very glistening face. It's very hot in this room the later in the day it gets, but yes. It's, it's worn down very nicely. It's just like a nice, almost like a cross between a lip stain and a gloss at this point. Just very light, but still highly pigmented and, and has worn down very, very good. I just wanted to give you guys some lip swatches and some arm swatches to show you what it looks like on a girl like me. And if you're in the similar color, uh, skin tone range, then I hope I was able to provide you with some information. I know sometimes we get a lot of these products 
and if they're more influencers type there's like fancy lighting and all this other stuff to kind of make products look really good um, but I just want to show you what a real girl looks real girl looks like wearing this stuff um, because that's what I like to see so hopefully you do too but uh, if you're not here for uh, my knitting that I usually post for and if you're curious, go ahead and click that same video below and maybe give the rest of my channel a view if if you want. I have some other reviews of just some simple beauty stuff, but it's really not uh, what my main channel is about. So thank you so much for watching. And if you're inclined to check me out the next time I upload a beauty video, I hope you do. Bye.